Welcome to Alison with Art. I'm Alison. I'm just going to be doing a test one here because I've just been fortunate enough to get this wonderful new, well to me it's new, Deco Art um, Extreme Sheen Gold 24K. And I first saw this on a YouTube video by Sarah Mack where she did this amazing uh, YouTube video and it made these fantastic cells with this gorgeous gold which made everything look 3D so hopefully I might get the same effect here. The noises in the background are my dogs. <laughs> I think they're hoping I'd give them their dinner before I did this but I've chosen to do this first. I'm just going to do the small one first. What's all that noise? I've also got um, some fairly new baby puppies here and so you might hear some squeakings and all right so I've got a few different types of paint here this one here is Windsor Newton Mars Black mixed with Floetrol uh, you've got to put a fair, fair amount of Floetrol with the these Windsor Newton Gallery acrylics because it's very concentrated so I can't really say how much flow troll I just did it until it was a nice consistency where it leaves a slight trail behind. I um, don't know if you can see that. It doesn't last very long. And this one here is the Windsor Newton Mars Black mixed with a, just a little bit of the Mars Black mixed with the Windsor Newton Phalo Blue just to get a, a, a darker blue. The uh, phalo blue is quite a bright blue and I wanted more of a deep blue. And this one here is actually, I'm not sure, this is what I'm just doing it on a small board today because I'm not sure how this is going to go. This is um, just a, a house paint this here, let's see what it is, uh, it's a house paint, because I was getting so much good fortune with the British paints white and it was giving me wonderful cloud effects without any satin enamel added, so I thought I'd, and I wanted this to be black, I didn't want it to be white, so I thought well I'll try it with um, black, but they didn't have it in the British paints, so they just had it in this, what is it called, it's from Bunnings, Formula Trendy, Range Tor Torbins Endure, but because it's come out looking, yeah, it's not, even though they said it's black, to me it looks like a dark grey, which is why I'm also doing the Winsor Newton Mars Black, because I'm not sure that it's going to be dark enough for me. I've also got here the Deco Art, I've got it written here, Cranberry Wine. That's 50 50 with Flow Troll. And that gives it the same sort of consistency with a slight trail behind. And the Extreme Sheen was about 50 50 with the Flow Troll. Because that's no water added, no silicon. This might be a little thick, but I don't want it to mix too much with the other paints. It won't matter if it gets a bit of the other colour in them, but anyway, as I said, this is an experiment. Okay, the reason I was doubtful about the, um, the one that I've got from, or a friend got it for me actually from Bunnings, um, is surprisingly it's not mixing with the flow troll very well. Usually, float. I mean, float troll is actually a, designed to go with paint. I thought because it's to to help house painters to make their paint go further, and it's a nice leveling mixture. But it, it kind of was separating from the the float troll and the paint as I was mixing it, and it kind of went extra thick. Usually, with the float troll added, it makes it thinner, but this was actually getting thicker started off quite thin and then I was adding the flow troll and it was getting thicker and thicker. So anyway, I'll give it a go, 
see how it turns out. Now I'm going to start off with the black because I want the black in the center. I'm hoping, I know I shouldn't be saying what I'm hoping it for because the odds are it won't turn out anything like I'm hoping it to be like, but I'm hoping it to be kind of a galaxy sort of a picture with black in the middle and little globules of gold around and and the red and the blue maybe look like planets. I know it's probably most, in fact, almost completely 100% likely that it'll be nothing like that, but we can only start with an idea and see where it takes us. No, no, that isn't the mask. Let me see. Everything very similar now, but no, this was the Mars black. And as that was looking more black, I'll start with that one. And actually, I'm going to do a dirty pour with this. Uh, a dirty pour is when you do it from up high and pour it in rather than try and layer your paints. The reason I'm doing that is because I, I want, as I said, it to be sort of fairly scattered. We shall see. Mix it round in a circle a bit. Bit of the cranberry wine. That's a nice cranberry wine, but I don't think I can drink that one. Now, I had a bit of gold now. I've seen other pours where the gold just takes over, so don't want to have too much actually, just a little bit. It's not really sinking in, is it? Now we'll go back over with black. Push it in. That's the house paint black. Yeah, it is really weird consistency. And I think I'll do the, the blue mixture now. It's kind of looking like it's mixing with that house paint black a bit. It might end up being a bit just muddy, weird colour. We shall see. And the red. A bit more of the gold. I'm just going to do two little X's there just one X, two little strokes just to get that gold in really. Hope it's not mud. This cup takes 200 mil. I know for this size canvas it's supposed to be about 250. This is just um, 30 centimetres by, what was it, 41 I think. No, it's A4 size. Um, anyway, here this goes. I'm going to start, from, I'm going to do it from high, just sort of, so it doesn't end up, uh, well, so the colours mix more, basically. I'm going to go, just going to go around a bit, because I don't want it to be circles but then I do want the end bit being black didn't I so see that's plenty of paint plenty of paint so sad when you see so much getting tipped off the edges I might even see if I can I don't know if that'll work whether I can save any paint hmm can't really see any of that red at all. One little speck of it there. Oh, a tiny bit there. Maybe I might just torch it now. Actually I've changed my mind. I think I'll torch it near the end because I've seen on other people's pores that the gold Kind of looks better when it's not 
torch too early because you end up with big long strands of it as it stretches. As you see, I haven't put down any base coat. that to try and help it move without losing that gold there too much and the end oh I can see the red coming through now well that's good doesn't look very planet like though looks more like <laughs> meteors in the sky no who knows it's with thing with abstract art everyone sees something different come on let's get that off I'll bring that gold down but not all the way actually that looks pretty cool over there I quite like that let's see if I can yeah I'm quite liking that See the red a bit more, especially down there. It's quite pretty. Wipe my hands off a little bit. Give it a torch now and see what comes up. Oh, I can see a bit of blue over there. <laughs> Amazing how you put a lot of colour in something and it can get quite lost. Pop the air bubbles at the same time. Right, I can see a, a dog hair, of course. That's full of dogs. That's what happens. Right, let's try and just get that out. There we are. But you'd be surprised how few dog hairs end up in it. Well, it's really quite pretty. Torch it a bit more. It's not changing much, is it? Now I got the idea for these boards. So it's very thick cardboard. It's 950 GSM cardboard, sometimes it's called chipboard, it's not really chipboard, from Julie Cutts' videos, Australian lady, and she uses these a lot, I haven't seen her using this small though, but it's a good way, she says it's a good way to, it's easier to store your paintings, it's easier to post when you're selling them. It's not really getting much reaction, are we, from the heat? Cover that little corner. It's quite pretty the way it is, but it just doesn't fall down on me. I've got plastic on plastic here to paint. I'm liking it. It's very shiny that gold. Beautiful and shiny. But I am disappointed it's not doing the huge 3D effect I've seen. But I think anyway. 
same so different paints that you use make a difference Julie Cutts is doing a video where she did it she used the extreme sheen gold with global paints which is a paint which many artists in Australia use because it's a pretty good quality cheaper one um, but it didn't work at all with that whereas with the Liquitex basics it had huge huge results of it selling up beautifully into beautiful little round cells looking 3D-ish. I don't have any Liquitex basics. But it was doing it for me, um, well not this gold, but the just the ordinary, or well, the white paint I guess is what I'm thinking of. It's getting the lovely cloud effects with the white paint, the white house paint. Hmm. Maybe I should have a layer or two of the white house paint but it's not it's not kind of what I was aiming for but might have to anyway it's all trial and error I'll bring you down there for some close-ups you can see it's shining beautifully look at that shimmer just amazing. If you look at that, you can see it's. Do I keep my hands steady? It's. it's ah, focus. It's um. Caught the cranberry wine colour within the gold, and it's actually made quite a pretty. It changes when you change angle. Interesting, eh? At this angle, you can see it more. Oh, it is pretty. That's where you can see the blue a lot more. Look at that red, don't you? That looks quite galaxy-like, doesn't it? Really. Lots of stars. <laughs> Ooh, look at that gold. Wow. Gee, on this angle, it really shines. It's beautiful. Wow, that over there looks really pretty. Alright, that's it from... Oh, I can't get it to focus. Why won't you focus? There we are. Got a bit of a glare of the light there. Let's see if I can get rid of that. There we are. Oh, interesting and I'll try another one. All right, bye for now.